Welcome to this episode of Inspirational Interruptions. I want to share a topic today that may make you a bit uncomfortable, and that is how you can talk about your success and your passions without sounding like a bragger. It is really important, especially in today's age, where you need to market who you are, what you're good at, and what your what benefit and value you're providing to your clients so that your prospects can find you or that people in your network can share what you do so that you may find new business. So in this short video, I want to talk about how you can share this kind of success with your network works without sounding like a bragger. Now, the first thing I wanna convince you of is that you need to be more confident in your ability to share your success and the ability to express exactly what you're really good at. Again, we're conditioned to think that this is all bragging, but if you don't share these aspects, you will never grow your business to where it needs to be and you'll never find the success that you need to find by just being quiet and hope that people come to you. Yes, it's important to have great client testimonials and great client referrals, but at the end of the day, it's you talking about you. It's you putting forth the best value proposition for your clients. And sometimes that's going to take a little bit of bragging or some strong confidence in saying, yes, I am the best person for this role, or I'm the best person to handle your needs if you're a third party vendor. This is really critical because at the end of the day, people aren't just gonna hire you because you're nice. They're gonna hire you because they feel like you're confident and they feel comfortable hiring you, giving you money, spending time and spending their own equity within their role to bring you in for whatever needs to be done. And if you're the one writing the check, do you really wanna give it to the person that's like, uh, I guess I kinda am good at this? No, you wanna have the person that says, yes, I'm the best person for this and this is gonna get done and we're going to be successful. I appreciate the business, let's get to work. But take value in those things. Those are things you've worked really hard to accomplish that you spent a lot of time and a lot of energy to make happen. Be proud of those things. Those are the things that you can hang your hat on that you are building value for future business. And think about it this way. If any of your friends needed a referral, you would not hesitate to give them a referral. You would not hesitate to brag on them. You would not hesitate to build up their credentials for somebody else to give them business. So why wouldn't you do the same thing for yourself? You know your own capabilities and you know your own strengths and your own value better than anyone. So why not strengthen that in your conversations? Stop apologizing for being good, stop apologizing for being successful, and stop apologizing for the things that you've achieved. It's okay to be proud of them. So when do we think people are bragging? It's when they talk about themselves and their success all the time. Now, if you're mixing in content, whether it's on LinkedIn or on social media, if you're blending your content between pride, service, and just fun facts, you're mixing it up. So you're not showing this braggadocious mentality. You're showing that you're proud of your success, you're happy in your own brand, and you're very self-aware with who you are and what value you provide. So look at the content that you're sharing online when it comes to what you provide as a service or what you provide as a business to make sure that you're blending in sources of pride and accomplishment and success within all the rest of your content. If you're not doing that currently, start adding it in in little doses and see what happens as far as your engagements and your client intake. And at the end of the day, you're just going to have to be confident if you're going to be successful. Companies will tell you how good they are at doing things as they should, because that's why you're doing business with them. You as an individual brand, should be doing the same thing, whether you're selling yourself for a promotion or a raise, whether you're selling yourself as an entrepreneur or a solo business, it is really critical that you add in that confident level of communication. Say what you're good at, say what you're going to provide, talk about the success that you've had, because that is what's going to build confidence and value in your own brand.